Alright. Here's our first art lesson. We have our art sack in front of us. So we're going to open this up. And let's get out the materials we are going to need. So first thing you're going to need, you're going to go in your folder and you're going to grab your instruction manual. We are going to be doing the first lesson right here about Starry Night. Okay, so get that out. Put your folder back in here. We're also going to need our paint. And we need our glue. What else do we need? I think that's all we need. How about a paintbrush? Oh, yeah. We might need a paintbrush. Oh, we need our sketchbook, so we can use that. We need this orange paper. This is what we're going to be painting on today. And then we're going to need our paintbrushes. We got a couple different sizes in here. And a pencil. rest of this we're gonna get out of the way also we're gonna want to grab a cup of water I will go protect your table area oh yeah good idea miss I there's a piece of newspaper in our folder that we can put down and use as our work surface should be right the right size so first thing you want to do is you can make a preliminary sketch in your sketchbook. So you're going to try to make the starry night. So this is what our end project is going to look like right here. Some other examples of starry night. This is the example from the book that we're trying to make. We also have this student example something you can do too or you can just look outside your window and do your backyard or a field or your favorite place to go so I'm just gonna draw a little preliminary sketch of what I want to do in my sketchbook kind of make a foreground background middle ground in here all right I got like two hills I might want to make some clouds in the distance here I'm gonna put some swirls in the sky, add some trees, some bushes. So that's just my preliminary sketch. So I'm gonna try to aim to do that. So I'm gonna set this right up here so I can look at it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is sketch what we sketched in our sketchbook on our orange paper. So here's my two layers. I'm gonna make my cloud. I'm gonna draw some trees. And I'm gonna draw some stars. Making it look like Starry Night, remember? And then I'm gonna draw some swirls. Whoop. We also are going to need that for our paint palette, too. I almost forgot. We need somewhere for our paints. So, after you got your sketch drawn on your orange paper, you're going to want to take your pencil and your sketchbook and get it out of your way. We'll just throw that over there. Make sure you're putting it in your backpack so your little sister or little brother or whatever you got running around at home doesn't steal it from you. So, we're going to need all of our paints. We're going to need our white, our yellow, a little bit of red, and our blue. Probably won't need black, but you can use it if you want to. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take some of your paint out of these containers and put it on your little palette right here, because you're not going to need all of your paint today. So I'm going to put blue on there. If you mix them up a little bit, it's fine. Just try not to get it all messed up. Yellow. Or use the back of your brush and wipe it off. It'll help too. I'll get you a paper towel. Tissue. All right. Maybe having some tissues or toilet paper, even though we know that you're almost out of toilet paper. And we're gonna put a little bit of red, not a lot of red. 
wipe it off. And then some white. You're gonna wanna make sure your brush is really clean when you grab the white so you don't contaminate your white because that one's gonna be affected the most. Put some of that on our palette. Then we can close up our paints and put them away. Then we'll save the rest of that paint for a future project. All right, so now I'm clean off my brush again. Make sure you got your cup of water that you can use. First thing I'm gonna do so I'm gonna start coloring in with just a initial layer on some of my places. So this hill I wanna paint a little bit yellow. Get some yellow here. You're gonna to wanna to do lots of layering when you do this. The more layers you get, the better it'll look. All right, and I wanna make some green for my first hill. So I'm gonna grab a little, quite a bit of yellow and just a little bit of blue to make green. All right, so that's a good green color. So I'm gonna put that up here. I'm gonna grab my big brush again. Kind of you can use water too to make your paint stretch a little farther. Now this project isn't gonna be something that's gonna be really quick. You're gonna wanna take your time and put multiple layers in, like I said. Okay, now I'm gonna clean off my brush. You can also use your newspaper to wipe your brush on as well. I'm gonna add some white here an initial layer of white, kind of just putting and blocking down some color. Okay, and then I'm gonna want to make a little bit of a darker green for my trees. So why are you putting on orange paper? You know, we're putting it on orange paper, Miss I, because it'll add different textures and under layers and makes your colors more vibrant and sometimes we just want to experiment and do stuff on different types of paper besides white because white gets boring every once in a while all right so then i got my trees painted in so now i'm going to start doing a little bit more with my background i'm going to grab some blue and put some big windy streaks because I know this area is really windy. Kind of making it look like starry night with all the swirls. Okay and then I'm going to grab some white and kind of just go really close to the blue. Kind of getting them a little messy. It's okay if you get messy. Kind of just abstract. And in Van Gogh's style too, he always has his brush strokes showing. How do you make that happen? You can just do kind of go wild, I guess. Don't make it blend in, keep it rough. You can do dry brush techniques where you have only a little bit of paint on your brush. And you can blend your colors together. And you don't have to have the background completely covered either. All right, so now that I got my swirls in, I'm gonna start putting in some of my stars. So I'm gonna put some circle patterns in here with white. And I'm kind of just leaving my brush a little bit dirty with some of that blue because it's gonna add some cool textures. All right, I'm gonna grab some yellow, put some yellow in. This is where those stars are gonna be. It might look messy right now, but. So that's just your first layer? We're layering, yep. This is gonna be my first layer. 
So you can go back in and you can add more blue even, filling it in. Oh, look, I'm adding another tree. Making this tree wider. All right, so after you get your first initial layer of paint down onto your project, obviously I could go back in and fill up some of these orange spaces and make it look a little bit nicer. You're gonna take your Elmer's glue and this part we are gonna make <laughs> I guess it snaps. Yeah, just it was just glued shut for safety or tape shut. Yep. So your little belly doesn't eat it, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So we are gonna just add glue, a glob of glue, to all of our paint. Don't need a lot, just a glob. Okay. Then you're gonna mix that in, and this is gonna make your paint super thick because then we're going to add some texture to our painting so i'm gonna i got my glue blue blue glue i guess <laughs> and i'm going to start just going back in here and adding some texture so you're supposed to put it on thick yeah put it on nice and thick Is my head in the way, Miss I? I know no, I have I just, a big head. No, I'm just zooming in to see some of your brush jokes a little bit. Yeah, let's keep it wild and loose. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to this white to make like a, a lighter, thick. I kinda like that shade you're making too. Mm -hmm can get so many different shades. This has actually turned out a little bit green because my yeah. brush is dirty, but that's okay. We're experimenting. So you put that on the green, on the trees with that thick blue you stuff You could, too. we could add some more texture with the, to the trees, or I can add it to my first hill here. I kind of like this color. It's kind of like a pastel-y. Yeah, it's How do you get these really cool marks in your first painting. Well, I will show you. After you layer this glue on really thick with the paint in it, you can use the back of your brush and go in and make designs. That's also a reason why we did the first layer because it's an under layer and when you scrape through the glue you'll be able to see the colors that you put under. I might add a little bit more here. Now I'm going to go back up and work on my sky a little bit more. I'm going to grab some of the white glue, mix that white paint in there. I'm going to come in here. Is it going to take long for, for it to dry? Yeah, it's going to take quite a while for it to dry because the glue, not a long, long time, but maybe like an hour or so, I would say. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, that's how it felt right, maybe. Depending on how thick you put it on, yeah. I guess. And if you're doing it in your bathroom or if you're doing it in your kitchen by a table. If you're showering at the same time, it'll probably take longer. Mm -hmm. All that moisture. All right. So I'll keep adding more and more texture. Because the be more texture, the better. It looks kind of shiny. Do you think it'll dry shiny? No, it should dry matte. See how no. this one dried matte? Okay. You can't even tell that you used glue. Well, maybe when you show your parents, you're going to have to tell them. We used a whole bunch of glue on this. All right, I'm going to add some more of this white here. So what kind of paint are we using as far as cleanup? This is tempera paint. So if you get a little bit in your clothes, it should wash out. But it could still stain. It could still stain, you're right. All right, so I got some more texture that I can add here, moving the glue around with my brush. See how you're making some marks? You can kind of see the orange through it. Mm -hmm. Kind of 
It looks like part of the stars. Mm -hmm. And then we also have red. We could add a little bit of red if we wanted to, kind of making it orangey. Might want to add some more red to my stars in here. Mix, experiment, and mix it around like, with different colors. Have fun with it. I also think I want to add some poppies down here. So I'm going to take some of my red, make it look like a meadow kind of. Let's see. I think I need to put some more te green texture on my trees. And add some of that blue and lots of that yellow. Oh, there we go. Now I can, oh, maybe I want to make it a little bit darker. The nice thing about these plastic palettes, I think you have more than one in your backpack, right? Yeah, you got two. Be two. So after you're done with it, you can just toss the whole thing in the trash. Easy cleanup. Don't have to worry about Miss I yelling at you to wash your palette, right? No kidding. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding a little bit more of this texture stuff to my trees. So now that I globbed it on pretty thick, I can go back in with the end of my brush and kind of put like a pine tree pattern in it. So is it okay? Like I see this one's a lot different than your first one. Is that okay? Yeah. So should theirs have to be just like one of yours or? No, everyone's should be a little bit different because it's cooler that way. We want unique art. We don't want so you're more after, everyone's so you're more same. after the style and the and the texture. Is that what you're after? Yep. We really want to just focus on experimenting with mixing paint and getting. Textures. Ooh, there's many another one. We just got snacks. Buddy. Sorry, we might have to take a break. We're having a cupcake right now. Yep. <laughs> Look at how pretty this one is, too, guys. Here. Should be here. Uh, yeah, I'd share it. <laughs> here, Miss I. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. So thing with this too is you gotta be careful because sometimes you are having so much fun you just want to keep going but sometimes you just gotta be look at it and stop like I would kind of want to keep keep going but I think I'm gonna stop so at the end this is what it should look like after it's completely dried you should have multiple layers you should see um, different textures that you put in with the end of your brush and if you see a little bit of orange, that's okay. So, like, when is this due? When do I have to do this? Can I do it now? Should I wait a week? When should I do this? So you should do this. Um, as soon as you see the assignment on Google Chrome, you should start it. And we're going to have them due on Monday. The following Monday? The following Monday. Okay. So if it's assigned on Monday, you have a whole week to do it. And you turn it in on Monday. And how you turn it in is you're going to take a picture with your camera or your smartphone and you're gonna upload it onto google chrome and so Monday, you're gonna show April us six is the actual like due date yep this one is going to be due here let's write this down so people can see it on due monday April 6th. So how do I turn it again? I don't remember how to do that. We're gonna take a picture with your camera. On your Chromebook, your phone, does it matter? It can be with your camera camera. It could be on your smart device, your iPad, Chromebook. or your Chromebook. Decisions up to you, whatever works better my little computer it kind of looks angry and hungry it probably wants my cupcake mm, yeah all right so if you have questions email us for don't questions. forget to wash your brush yep these don't just rinse them in this crappy water stick them in here go to the sink 
wash them because you're going to need them again. Make sure you put your cover on your glue because you're going to need that again. Make sure you take all of this. Did we lose a cover for this? Don't lose your cover for your paint. Uh oh. Miss I just lost the cover for my yellow. Uh oh. Can you put something else over it? You could. You could get some saran wrap and cover it up. Yep, oh. that would probably work. I think I found it. So, you can throw your newspaper away and you can throw your palette away. And then mom and dad won't be mad because you didn't make a mess. Ta da! And that is our project for today. Sign your artwork too. Yep, I'm gonna sign mine right now. Then we know that you're the one that made it. Mr. Who. All right, anything else, Miss I? I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, over and out, middle schoolers. We'll see ya, and hopefully see your art soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.